G'day wildlife explorers. Welcome back to the show. I'm so excited you've decided to join us today for another wild adventure. This time, we're heading off to some of the most incredible islands on Earth. Get ready to explore the breathtaking archipelago of Indonesia. Picture this. Lush jungles teeming with life, pristine sandy beaches that stretch as far as the eye can see, and active volcanoes rising up from the heart of it all. Indonesia is a land of incredible beauty and even more incredible creatures and we're going to meet a few of them up close. First up, we're tracking down one of the most impressive reptiles on the planet, the Komodo dragon. These guys are like something straight out of prehistoric times. Then, we're venturing deep into the rainforest to meet the elusive and absolutely adorable Tarsier, a tiny primate with eyes bigger than its belly. And if that wasn't enough, we're heading to the coast to meet the strongman of the crustacean world. The Coconut Crab. These guys are famous for their incredible strength and their love for cracking open coconuts. So, get ready to explore, discover, and learn alongside me in this wild ride through the Indonesian islands. Crikey, let's go! Here we are, deep in Komodo National Park a chain of rugged volcanic islands that are home to some of the most unique wildlife in the world. We're on the hunt for a true living dragon, the Komodo dragon. Now these fellas are nothing to muck about with. They're the largest living lizards on the planet and apex predators in their environment. They've got powerful legs, sharp claws, and a tail that can knock you off your feet. But their most impressive weapon is their venomous bite. Now, Komodo dragons are ambush predators, which means they rely on stealth and surprise to catch their prey. They'll lie in wait for hours, camouflaged in the undergrowth, waiting for the perfect moment to strike. Look at the size of him. Crikey, what a beauty. You know, these dragons have got an incredible sense of smell. They can sniff out a potential meal from miles away. And once they've got a scent, they're like guided missiles, honing in on their target. But don't let their size and strength fool you. These dragons are also incredibly intelligent and resourceful. They've been around for millions of years, surviving and thriving in this challenging environment. They're a true testament to the power of adaptation and resilience. Now Kiko here, like all Komodo dragons, is a carnivore which means he loves his meat. And when I say meat, I mean anything he can get his powerful jaws on. We're talking deer, pigs, water buffalo, you name it. They're even known to scavenge on carrion, cleaning up the environment in the process. Now when it comes to hunting, Komodo dragons have a few tricks up their scaly sleeves. They're not the fastest runners, but they're incredibly strong and have a powerful bite. But the real secret weapon is their saliva. See, Komodo dragon saliva contains a cocktail of nasty toxins that can weaken their prey. See that tongue? It's constantly tasting the air, picking up scent particles and letting Kiko know what's lurking around. It's like a sixth sense, helping them navigate their environment and track down their next meal. You see, once a Komodo dragon bites its prey, those toxins get to work, preventing blood clotting and lowering blood pressure. The prey might get away initially, but the dragon will patiently track it, sometimes for days, until it succumbs to the venom. It's a deadly combination of patience and power. Now, you might think being at the top of the food chain means an easy life, but that's not the case for Komodo dragons. They face a whole host of challenges, many of them caused by us humans. Habitat loss is a big one. As humans encroach on their territory, these dragons are finding it harder and harder to find suitable hunting grounds. And then there's poaching and the illegal wildlife trade. These magnificent creatures are often targeted for their skin and other body parts, which are highly prized on the black market. It's a real shame, because these creatures are so important to the ecosystem. Look at him, just soaking up that warm Indonesian sun. It's crucial for these cold-blooded reptiles to regulate their body temperature, and basking helps them do just that. It's also a great time for them to rest and digest their food, especially after a big meal. But it's not just external threats that these dragons have to contend with. They also have to compete with each other, especially during mating season. Males will battle it out for dominance, using their tails and claws to wrestle their rivals to the ground. It's a sight to behold, let me tell you.
You know, spending time with Kiko here reminds me of how important it is to protect these incredible creatures. They're a vital part of the ecosystem, and their presence here is a sign of a healthy environment. But their future is uncertain. We need to work together to protect their habitat, combat poaching, and ensure that these dragons continue to roam these islands for generations to come. It's up to us to be their voice and their protectors. Just imagine a world without these magnificent creatures. It would be a much poorer place, wouldn't it? So let's all do our part to make sure that never happens. Remember, every creature, big or small, plays a crucial role in the delicate balance of nature. Well, Kiko, it's been an absolute privilege meeting you. You're a true ambassador for your species, and I hope that by sharing your story with the world, we can inspire others to join the fight to protect you and your kind. Now we're leaving the land of dragons behind and venturing deep into the heart of the Indonesian rainforest. This place is teeming with life, from colorful birds to slithering snakes. But we're here to meet a creature that's as elusive as it is adorable, the Tarsia. Now, these little primates are nocturnal, which means they're most active at night. They've got some incredible adaptations that help them thrive in the darkness, including those massive eyes that give them incredible night vision. Can you feel that? The air is thick with humidity and the sounds of the rainforest surround us. It's a symphony of buzzing insects, croaking frogs, and the occasional call of a bird settling down for the night. The rainforest is a magical place, especially at night, and it's home to some of the most unique and fascinating creatures on Earth. To find a tarsia, you need to be patient and observant. They're masters of camouflage, blending seamlessly into their surroundings. But with a bit of luck and a keen eye, we might just catch a glimpse of these incredible creatures. There, up in that tree, see those two glowing orbs staring back at us. That's our girl, Tia the Tarsie. Now those eyes aren't just for show. They're each as big as her brain and give her incredible night vision, allowing her to see in almost complete darkness. But here's the thing about Tarsie eyes. They're fixed in their sockets, which means they can't move them like we can. So how do they see everything around them? They've got another trick up their furry sleeves. They can rotate their heads almost 360 degrees. Imagine being able to do that. They can be looking straight ahead, then swivel their heads all the way around to see what's behind them without moving their bodies an inch. Talk about having eyes in the back of your head. Those big eyes are also incredibly sensitive to light, which helps them navigate the dense rainforest undergrowth and hunt for food in the dark. They're perfectly adapted to a life lived primarily in the shadows. Now, Tia here might be small, only about the size of your hand, but don't let that fool you. These little primates are incredible athletes, capable of jumping distances up to 40 times their body length. That's like you or me jumping the length of a football field in a single bound. They use their powerful hind legs and long, springy ankles to launch themselves through the air with incredible precision, leaping from branch to branch with effortless grace. It's really something to see. And they're not just jumping for fun, mind you. This incredible leaping ability is essential for catching their favorite food insects. Tarsiers are insectivores, which means their diet consists mainly of creepy crawlies like crickets, grasshoppers, and even the occasional small lizard. They'll lie in wait, perfectly still, then pounce with lightning speed, snatching their prey right out of the air. They're like tiny, furry ninjas of the rainforest, silently stalking their prey before striking with incredible precision. It's a good thing they're on our side. One of the things I admire most about Tarsiers is their dedication to their young. Baby Tarsiers, called infants, are born with their eyes open and fully furred, but they're pretty helpless at first. They rely completely on their mothers for food and protection. The mother will carry her infant in her mouth, gently moving it from one safe location to another. And when it's time to eat, she'll even regurgitate food that she's already digested to nourish her little one. Talk about motherly dedication. As the infant grows, it will start to venture out on its own, learning to climb and hunt alongside its mother. But the bond between mother and infant remains strong, and the mother will continue to protect and care for her young until it's old enough to fend for itself. It's a tough world out there in the rainforest, even for a creature as adaptable as a tarsier. 
but with the love and guidance of their mothers, these little primates have a fighting chance of survival. Crikey, have a look at the size of this bloke. That's a coconut crab, and he's a real ripper. They're the largest land invertebrates in the world, you know, can grow up to three feet across. That's bigger than a didgeridoo. Now these fellas are famous for their incredible strength and those claws are no joke. They use them to crack open coconuts, rip apart fruit and even climb trees. Imagine the power in those pincers. It's like having a built-in set of bolt cutters. But it's not all brute force with these critters. They're pretty clever too. They've been known to use tools to get their food. And some folks even say they can smell a ripe coconut from miles away. Now that's what I call a nose for a good feed. They're a vital part of the ecosystem here, these coconut crabs. They help to disperse seeds and keep the forest floor clean. So next time you see one, remember, they're more than just a pretty claw. They're a true Aussie icon. Now, as you can imagine, a big bloke like this needs a lot of tucker to keep him going. And their diet of choice? You guessed it, coconuts. They're like the vacuum cleaners of the coconut world, these blokes. They use those powerful claws to crack open the tough outer husk, revealing the delicious flesh inside. It's a real sight to see, let me tell you. They make it look as easy as peeling a banana. But it's not just about the coconuts for these fellas. They're opportunistic feeders, which means they'll have a go at just about anything they can get their claws on fruit, nuts, even the occasional bit of carrion. They're not afraid to try a bit of everything. And believe it or not, these coconut crabs are actually pretty good climbers. They use those strong legs and claws to scale trees in search of food. It's like watching a tank climb a ladder. One of the most amazing things about these coconut crabs is their sense of smell. They've got a pair of antennae that are more sensitive than a sniffer dog's nose. They can pick up the scent of a ripe coconut from over a mile away. Imagine that, walking down the street and being able to smell a freshly baked pie from miles away. That's the kind of power these coconut crabs possess. It's like having a superpower. And it's not just coconuts they can sniff out. They can detect all sorts of food with those incredible noses. Fruit, nuts, even the faintest whiff of meat. If it's edible, they'll find it. They use this incredible sense of smell to navigate their surroundings, find mates, and of course to track down their next meal. It's a vital part of their survival in the wild. Now you might think that these big strong crabs are at the top of the food chain, but even these blokes have to watch their backs. They've got a few natural predators, including large birds of prey, snakes, and even monitor lizards. But the biggest threat to coconut crabs it's us, humans. Habitat destruction and hunting are taking their toll on these incredible creatures. We need to do everything we can to protect them and their homes. These coconut crabs are a vital part of the ecosystem here. They help to disperse seeds, keep the forest floor clean, and provide food for other animals. They're like the caretakers of the forest. So next time you're lucky enough to see one of these amazing creatures, remember to give them the respect they deserve. They're a true marvel of nature and we need to do everything we can to make sure they're around for generations to come. Well there you have it adventurers, we've met some of the most incredible creatures Indonesia has to offer, from the mighty Komodo dragon to the tiny but tenacious tarsier and the powerful coconut crab, each one unique and crucial to their environment. Remember Kiko, the Komodo dragon, with his powerful legs and venomous bite ruling his island domain? And Tia, the tarsier with those big, beautiful eyes and incredible jumping abilities? And let's not forget Coco, the coconut crab, cracking open those coconuts with those massive claws. These amazing animals have shown us the incredible diversity of life on our planet and reminded us of the importance of protecting it. Every creature, big or small, plays a vital role, so next time you see a spider in your house, don't squish it relocated outside. Remember, we're all part of this big beautiful world and it's our job to look after it. Keep on exploring, keep on learning, and most importantly keep on caring. Crikey, it's been a wild ride. See you next time adventurers!